What's up, y'all? Dylon here, and today is what day is it? Today is day 25, 100 squats a day for 30 days. So, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into it. So, I've been taking it easy the past few days, making short videos. I've been doing some more body weight squats, getting some grounding in outside, enjoying this nice weather. I, I really like that because, gotta tell you, my legs have been beat just so uh, yesterday was a kind of a relaxing day i didn't i did body weight squats 100 of them and then didn't do snowboarding so because of that you know my legs had a chance to recover so they feel pretty good today but i'm gonna definitely need a few days to kind of recover get some of the lactic acid and everything out after this challenge but the lesson here is obviously i started this challenge doing a lot of weight doing a lot with my vitruvian and i'm gonna finish with my vitruvian as someone mentioned this is that good for your legs if you do it every single day well if you constantly push yourself every single day and don't allow your body time to recover it's going to be tough on you right it's going to be a little bit harder to get the results you want get the muscle growth that you want the strength that you want because your body needs to recover that's very 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 important so doing a challenge like this and this is what i felt is that you need to listen to your body and it doesn't mean stop the challenge unless like you have a serious injury, but you need to adapt the challenge so that you can continue, but, and you can allow your body to recovery. So these past few days when I've been you know, increasing the amount of activity I've been doing, and then combine that with lifting heavy on the squats, what would happen is my legs before, you know, taking these past few days and just doing only body weight squats, my legs, you know, they didn't want to perform on the mountain and then they're sore when I was off the mountain, there was sore when I'm doing my squats. I couldn't lift as much. So it's not as ideal. So it's good to just mix things up. And the best way to mix it up, right? Go outside if you normally work inside, work out inside, right? Do some body weight squats if you're normally doing weight. Or if you're putting a lot of weight on, do a little bit of weight. Do some assisted squats, like have a TRX. You can hook one of those things up so you can kind of assist yourself with it. There's all different ways and you can still get that 100 in and you can still try to stay true to yourself, the commitment that you made, which is what it's all about. At the end of the day, these challenges are for you and proving to yourself that you're worth the commitment and you can stick to the commitments and that you can be disciplined and do things every single day to take you from where you are at now to where you wanna be. So with that said, let's do some squats. Let's get 25 in and I'll show you some variations that you can throw in if you want. So 25 squats. Of course, I'm gonna do 100, but. So that was 10, and you can mix it up. So I could do, right, that was kind of neutral. I've done mostly like that, but you can do kind of closer grip squats if you wanted, stuff like this. Not a big deal, it's five there, right? You can do the, 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 the Cossack squat, And I probably should do more of those. All right, what are we at? I did 10 of those, guys. I would count, I would count those as full squats, All right? Because you're going down, you're coming up, even though you're, you're favoring one side, those can count for 10. Hey, right? you can do reverse these lunges like this. All right, those count. You gotta double those ones up. Or you can do forward stepping lunges like that. And of course those count, but you gotta double these up. So I, I've lost count how many I've been doing, but those actually feel really good. Just get a, a good stretch on that quad there. But you're doing the variations of that squat movement other than just doing this, which this is great, right? Don't get me wrong. This is great, one of my favorites. But doing those variations is not only like, gives you a change of pace, but it also like is good for your body. It also allows your body to work other muscles, to stretch. Like I said, when I was doing <laughs> doing these guys, oh yeah, it's a good stretch for that hip flexor and quads to get really tight when you're doing this. So incorporating that in there is perfectly fine. It still counts, even though it's a lunge, I still count that as a squat. It's fair, right? You know, maybe some people don't, don't agree, but this counts as a squat. You gotta do two, right? That'd be one equal one squat. 
right? Cossack squat, right? That's, I, I would count that one as a full squat because you are coming back up and going down. There's probably other variations out there. You know, doing reverse lunges like that work out really well. I mean, have fun with it. Right? There's no reason that you shouldn't be able to get your squats in and there's a variety of them. I just did like five right there. And of course you can do all of those with weight. Uh, you can, let me go grab something real quick. So right here, what I have is I have this rucksack. I got a, a plate off Amazon and this backpack, it was, the plate was like 20, 25 bucks and the backpack was like, I don't know, 35, 40. There's a bunch of them like this. I just gotta make sure the weight fits in the bag. We have about 30 pounds in here. So if you wanted to do some stuff that are a little bit easier, but would simulate if you hike, things like that. Rucking's, you know, apparently all the rage burns more calories than walking, get a rucksack, you know, and do your squats with the rucksack on there. Right. First lunges, we can do forward lunges. It adds a little bit of weight, it's not a lot, but it's pretty functional because if you like hiking or going outside, you may, or you have a baby, you might be carrying weight on your back and it can help you, you can wide, and it can help your squat program help your body that's something that i'd recommend so by day 25 got five days left i probably day 26 i'm probably gonna be snowboarding we're supposed to get a storm coming in but uh 27 28 29 i'll probably be doing some weight with the vitruvian i'll bust that back out once i have more of my office space back when my brother heads home so that's one of the other reasons don't let changes in your daily routine or your space stop you from following through on your commitment on completing the challenge. That's why it's a challenge. That's why we do 30 days, right? Or the 75 hard does 75 days because during those time frames, there's always gonna be something that challenges you to stick to what you said you'd do. And I know I felt it the past few days, but I've got it done. I've got my squats, I've made my videos, uh, working on uploading all of them, but uh, I made the videos, I've done the squats and you know, you're gonna be better off for it. So anyways, that's it for day 25. I'll catch you on day 26. And of course, like, subscribe, comment below, and uh, hopefully you got your own challenge that you're starting. So that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.